Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritz are here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Wednesday, December 9th, 2020. Free college basketball play on this report. We'll get to that. First, a quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, click on that link below the video. Get yourself set up for a free $60 account, which you can then use on any of our daily packages, uh, mine or anybody else's on the roster at DocSports.com. And again, it's as simple as clicking on the link below the video. By the way, I do have a six-star college basketball play on a Wednesday. So if you've yet to become a member, great chance to uh, click on that link, get the $60 free account, use it on that college basketball six-star play. Yesterday, a college basketball soccer sweep. And uh, we're just on a red-hot run in both leagues, or both sports, I should say, right now. We cashed on a, a UEFA Champions League play yesterday on the pitch. We've got another one going on a Wednesday. It's an afternoon game, and it's available at DocSports.com on my Handicappers homepage. And we've got a six-star play, as I mentioned, in college basketball. Last night, one college basketball play, easy winner with Illinois on the road over Duke. We've cashed twice now with Illinois this year. Once going against them, we had Baylor. And then, of course, last night we played on them when they took on Duke and got that relatively easy win. So 9-1, and one, our last 10 sides in college basketball, well over $3,000 ahead. We'll look to go to 10-1 and one on Wednesday. And by the way, uh, we're still undefeated with my plays rated five stars and higher in college basketball baskets. We'll look to extend that run for the season to 5-0 and uh, with the six-star play on Wednesday's card. And don't forget, we've got football Thursday tomorrow. I will have my video up late Wednesday night, early Thursday morning. We'll tell you everything we got going in football uh, this upcoming weekend. So there you have it. Let's get to the free pick for Wednesday's card. Looking at the lines right now, and I've got a good 15, 16 books in front of me on my screen, and uh, we're looking at TCU hosting Providence. TCU laying two and a half just about everywhere, but there are some threes out there, so it might go up by the time some of you see this video, but we're recommending to play on TCU. Hey, listen, you know what? I lost a half a point, a game by half a point the other day. My only loss with my college sides in the last 10, and it was with Oklahoma, and that's because that line shot up to four and a half, and it was a situation where TCU played well despite not playing their game. Uh, they played well on the offensive end. They lost by four. They covered that number if you got it like after 11 a.m. Eastern time uh, as they did become a four and a half point underdog at that point. Uh, but that's the thing that I like about Dixon's team the most with TCU this year is that they did not have to play slow down basketball. They didn't exactly play their game and yet they still almost beat the Oklahoma Sooners losing by four in that contest 82 to 78. I suspect they'll play more of their game here and listen with Ed Cooley and his Providence Friars you'll remember last year they started six and six straight up and then they were one of the unfortunate teams with the shutdown in March because they had just won six in a row straight up and against the spread I expect more of that kind of basketball out of Ed Cooley's Friars this season okay start nothing special and then when we get into February and March I think the Providence Friars are going to be a team to be reckoned with uh, but six and six through the first 12 straight up last year they're three and two right now and I think it's a situation where they're not going to be playing their best basketball for a while they absolutely stink thus far when it comes to three-point shooting I mean downright awful so I think TCU will be able to body up against Providence and force them outside a little bit more than they want and on the offensive end Providence is susceptible inside in the paint and TCU has the players that can take it inside and exploit that issue so we're going to back TCU our free play lay of the points short points over Providence Providence on a Wednesday. And again, don't forget, we got that big six star college basketball play as we look to go to 10 and 1 with our last 11 sides and 5 and 0 on the season with plays running five stars and higher. Soccer starts it all out afternoon action, 3 p.m. Eastern time, 12 noon Pacific on Wednesday. So be sure to check that out. All right, if you like the videos, click on the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, docsports.com. Let's put Wednesday in the win column.